In this lesson, we're looking at biodiversity. This is our one dot point we're looking at, but we will cover many more. All right, so at best estimate, there are about 500,000 uh, to 10 million unique species around the globe. And around 1 million of these are animals, 200,000 are plants, and 45,000 of these are fungi. Now, there's substantially more microorganisms as well on top of that. So biodiversity can be described as many, many things, but overall it is the full range of different living organisms in a particular area. So it can be described at a number of different levels, including genetic species and ecosystem diversity. Now, genetic diversity includes a really wide range of genes within a gene pool in one specific species, and the diversity of the species is the range of species within that ecosystem. If you talk about the range of ecosystem, so diversity in the ecosystem, it includes both the ranges of ecosystem in a location, but also takes into account the variation within an ecosystem. So lots of microhabitats and habitats within one uh, can provide more opportunities for organisms to find niches and things like that. Now, biodiversity is vital to the long-term stability of species, ecosystems, and the planet as a whole. Ultimately, biodiversity relies on the number of species present in an ecosystem, and we know that these uh, things will be impacted by the abiotic and biotic conditions, as well as the genetic makeup of the organisms which determine their own traits. Now, increased biodiversity allows organisms and ecosystems to withstand and survive sudden changes which may arise. So it allows them to be resilient and flexible, but it also provides an abundance of resources which humans can use. So selfishly, this is a consideration for maintaining biodiverse ecosystems, right? If we don't have any more forests, we don't get any more timber. Uh, biodiversity is needed for all facets of ecosystems. So even those things like microhabitats and soil. If we decrease biodiversity, it leads to so many problems, right? We're talking inbreeding, so genetic uh, diversity decreases. We're talking disease can uh, be very prevalent in, in populations. We're talking overpredation, which is going to imbalance the food webs, and we're talking ecosystem breakdown as a whole. So therefore, it's really important to maintain biodiverse ecosystems throughout the world to ensure that they have stable and sustainable futures. If you're talking about things like, um, you know, climate change and recession, as well as COVID, at the end of the day, all of this still relies on our ecosystems being diverse. So if that is a problem, um, you know, there's going to be really long term consequences there. So that's it for this one. The following uh, lessons are going to be about measuring diversity.